thank you. I'm uh, Dr. Fredo Tieno from Atlantis Life Science. I'm a poultry expert and uh, a technical rep at Atlantis Life Science. What are you doing today in this farm? Yeah, today we are in this farm called Linvi Lin Farm, a farm that boasts of uh, 30,000 layers. And uh, today we are here to train the farm attendants and also to train uh, the farm owner on uh, ways to uh, take good care of this poultry farm and also to maximize on production as far as layers is concerned. Uh, I've visited so many farms, this is just one of them. And uh, from the experience I, I have with uh, these uh, uh, huge farms, I mean uh, extensive farms, uh, you realize most of these farms, they face almost similar challenges. For instance, uh, in this farm, they are doing a deep litter system. Uh, there are challenges that come with deep litter system. For instance, uh, challenges of cannibalism. These uh, birds, they keep pecking on each other. And uh, it is a very huge challenge because the moment they do that, it may result to mortality. At the same time, it lowers production in terms of the egg numbers you find at the end of the day. So today we are visiting this farm and touching on matters how to create good biosecurity and how to improve production and how to avoid several challenges they always face as a farm. Uh, for instance, just as I said, cannibalism, it is a case that always occurs due to calcium deficiency. So when there's deficiency in calcium, these birds tend to peck on each other they even tend to eat on the litter itself. And uh, when they do that, they get to have a lot, of, a lot of infections. And at the same time, the production always goes down. Uh, well, uh, uh, there are challenges with feed. For instance, the cost of feed has gone up. And uh, most farmers cannot sustain production because of high cost of feed. Um, this challenge is uh, cutting across board, not just layers farmers, but also broiler farmers. And uh, as a company, we've tried, we've done a lot of research on ways to mitigate on this high cost of feeding. For instance, we have good supplements that will increase feed conversion ratio in your birds, such that a bird will eat less, but still give you the same result. For instance, when I came to this farm, I found out the, if we calculated the amount of feed spent per bird every day, it was going to a tune of 140 grams of feed per bird per day. Uh, and when I go to other farms, which we visited and uh, uh, help them on ways to cut on cost of feed, you find some farms are doing up to 110 grams of uh, feed per day. A farmer who is doing 140 grams will use a lot of money in feed than a farmer who is doing 110 grams. So, how do we get our birds to use less feed? That's where the feed conversion ratio is coming in. One bird will eat less, but give you the same result. But another one will eat more to give you same result. As a company, we've played with the digestive system of this bird. We found out on ways whereby we can uh, increase the number of villi in the intestines of this bird to increase the feed conversion ratio. The villi are the ones that absorb feed in the intestine. When we increase the numbers, we increase the amount of feed that can be absorbed, the amount of active ingredients that can be absorbed so that this bird will give you same results. For instance, if it is uh, layers, they'll give you one egg at least after every 27 hours. Uh, if it is for broiler, it will eat uh, amount of feed in a, a, that will get uh, that will give you a weight the desirable weight we need the shortest uh, minimum time possible so for layer farmers it is advisable you embrace this particular technology or embrace this particular supplement so that you can be able to spend less on feed which will give you profits at the end of the day the supplement we use for that is called Vigorex Vigorex is made up of different enzymes, different probiotics, and even uh, other ascorbic acids and uh, several other components that serve as, if I, I use a layman terms, it serves as a manure to these villas. They make them grow longer, they grow wider, 
and grow many in numbers. This one will increase the amount of feed that is absorbed by this bird to give you high production. Yes. Uh, okay, thank you, Daktari. Uh, maybe you are parting short as we wind up. Uh, well, I will encourage most farmers, it's no time to give up. We know the challenges of economics, the prices of feed has gone up, but ask yourself one question. Why is one farmer managing it and you not mani managing it? Uh, it is because one farmer is receptive to using some of these supplements that will save on the amount of money you use at the end of the day to raise these birds. One will, save cheap, will save, sell cheaper and get profits. You, you will sell at a high cost and fail to still get profits at the end of the day. So as a company, we are here to assist you. You can call us to any farm. We are always there to give you free trainings like the one we've done here today. We'll give you free trainings on how to prevent diseases in your farms, on how to improve on your feed conversion, and also on how to improve production in general in your farm. So uh, visit us at Atlantis or even at our YouTube page. You'll always find our contacts. You can call us anytime. We are there to help you as a farmer. You will grow, we also grow. Thank you.